Hi dear friends, uh, welcome to my channel. It's Akshara Dare by Devraj. I hope you guys are learning great, earning great and working great. So whatever it may be. So, and I hope you guys are preparing and working towards to improve our communication in English. And if you guys are facing, if you guys are facing any issues related to communication and uh, related to uh, competitive exams, please uh, write to me or please leave the comment in the comment box so that I can help you out to resolve your doubts so please subscribe to my channel if you before going to start i would request you guys actually uh, please subscribe to my channel like and comment and uh, let's let me start today's newspaper this is uh, 18th may 2023 let me start today's uh, newspaper reading yes dear friends let me start today's newspaper reading this is today uh, i'm doing second uh, video because due to shortage of storage in my mobile it was not stored so again i am doing the video so let me start anyway cabinet approves 1.08 lakh crore sure is trying to see tense money for later two judgments and principle of accountability it art co sector to get 17000 crore for pli Sidramaya is likely to likely choice of high command. Two PJP leaders blame Sidramaya for quitting Congress. SC gives Sebi time till August 14 to probe Hindenburg choice. Heat waves, which used to occur once in a century, are now expected once in five years. Mammoth at task of counting elephants get underway. Gets under wicked law, government approves ordinance amending hospital production act. Around 2.6 lakh students will write the case set this year. The case set 2023 will be held in 592 centers in the state, of which 121 are in the city. So in second PU hearts, commerce students who did not write exams get second choice. Caretakers, hazards, elderly man makes away with valuables. Driver conductor felicitated. Armored man rob cigarette distributor. Demand for tertiary treatment of KC Valley and Echen Valley water palmers threaten the steer. People of Kola and Chikpalapur have a long list of water projects that they hope will take off under the new Congress government. Postal Department Home delivers 719 tons of mangoes from farmers. Mango mill are shortened to 5 to 7, seven days uh, this time owing to decreased yield in crop. FYI against suspended inspector for sexual assault. <coughs> Police atrocity probe hearted India and Space Wall Museum Handmilled. As a weak Congress High Command failed to break the deadlock on CM candidate, two BJP leaders blame Sidramaya. ASCC General Secretary Sarandeep Singh Surjewala and KC Venugopal have been convening a meetings between DK Sidramaya and Sidra, uh, DK Shukuma and Sidramaya, but are as yet unable to break the stalemate. The party had faced similar problems in Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. Fake news leads to premature celebrations. Somanna dubs Congress Zam as double steering government. No heli tourism during Nilgiri summer festival. Madras HC. IIT Madras ties up with the Israeli government for water security. With a decent storage level, Metu Dam likely to be opened on June 12th. Secunderabad to Tirupati Vande Bhat fully booked. Jolly had confessed to killing family members' son. Let me read this editorial page, guys. Two judgments and the principle of accountability. And one more editorial page is here. Despite Israeli leader plays the security accord. Let me start this. Editorial page written by is with PS, PRS Legislative Research New Delhi. 
टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बेंचेस ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया डिलाई वर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट जजमेंट लास्ट वीक द फर्स्ट केस डिसाइडेड दैट द डेली गवर्नमेंट हेडेड बाय द चीफ मिनिस्टर अंडर नॉट लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर अपॉइंटेड बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट विल कंट्रोल सिविल सर्विसेज वर्किंग फॉर द डेली गवर्नमेंट द सेकेंड केस Involved the formation of the current government in Maharashtra following the split in the Shiv Sena party. Contradiction of a core principle. Both the judgments, which were an animus, an animus, were authored by the Chief Justice of India. They explain the constitutional exposition clearly. However, the Maharashtra judgment contradicts the core principle applied in the Delhi case. The pro problem arises from the fact that the Maharashtra judgment adheres to the tenth schedule of the Constitution, the anti-defection law, which at its heart is incompatible with the structure underlying parliamentary democracy. The issue in the Delhi case was to undermine, determine whether the civil services in the Delhi government would be accountable to the Delhi cabinet or to the Union government. Delhi is a union territory with a legislature, and the demarcation of powers is spelled out in the in Article Two Nine Thirty Nine AA. The Supreme Court stated that parliamentary democracy implied a government account accountable to the people. The judgment explains that this entails a triple chain of command. Civil service officers are accountable to ministers. Ministers are accountable to the legislature, and legislature is accountable to the electorate service events of any link of this triple triple chain would be unethical anti ethical to the parliamentary democracy therefore the civil services will have to report to the delhi cabinet the maharashtra cat judgment dealt with a sequence of events that included several petitions under the anti defection law two factions of the shiv sena had issued contradictory whips and the maharashtra speaker had recognized the whip of one of the factions which claimed more members of the legislative legislative assembly as representing the party one of the questions considered by the court was to determine which faction had the right to appoint the leader and whip of the legislative legislative party and if we have the power to issue binding directions on every member of the party in the assembly the court ruled that the 10th schedule makes a differentiation between the legislature party and the political party the legislature party includes all mlas mp members of parliaments belonging to the political party it determined that the power to issue directions was with the political party and not the legislative party they for the portion in charge of the political party who may not be a member of the may not be a member of the legislature would control every vote of the mlas mp of that party failure to hard to hard day to such direction by any mla mp would lead to disqualification thus this judgment for the entrenches the power of the party leadership for the legislature it reinforces the idea that the mp mla is not accountable to the electorate but only to the party that fielded them in the election high in doing so it breaks the triple chain of accountability which is an underlying principle of the delhi government judgment and in the judgment that decrees the possibility is decrees the possibility of legislatures being elected on the basis of the affiliation to a party later disconnecting with that party it goes on to say that this tenth schedule guards precisely against this outcome again this position is different from that taken in the delhi in the delhi judgment they the court states that the government is assisted daily in the legislature through debates and bills questions raised during question over resolutions debates and are no confidence motions if the legislatures of the party with a majority in the house have to abide by the directions of the political party the very idea of a daily assessment by the legislature becomes meaningless the party leadership controls the vote of its legislatures legislators on each state issue and therefore the government is guaranteed to win every vote including a no confidence motion unless any legislature is willing to forego forego their membership in the house the problem lies here problem lies you the judges had no choice but to make such contradictory collect conclusions in the delhi judgment they were clarifying the gaps in the constitution by using standard interpretation methods 
in the maharashtra judgment they were bound in their interpretation by the clear language of the 10th schedule the problem lies in the very idea of the anti depiction law which contradicts the democratic principle of accountability of legislators to their votes voters the anti depiction law is based on the assumption that any vote by any mp or mla against the party direction is a betrayal of the electoral mandate this is an incorrect interpretation of representative democracy while party affiliation is an important element in the elections it is not the sole criterion for voters the supreme court has again recognized this principle in the case where it mandated that all the candidates all candidates must disclose information related to their criminal record assets and liabilities and educational qualification in order, in order to allow voters to take an informed decision if voters only cared about party affiliation why should the other characteristics of candidates matter and the election elections results are election results are also results also contradict the assumption that voters look only at the party affiliation of candidates for example in karnataka by elections were triggered due to the anti defection of several congress and janta dal mlas in 2019 just months after the general election 13 of the defectors contested on a job at the janta party ticket and 11 of them were re-elected similarly in madhya pradesh 15th of the 22 mlas who defected won the ensuing by elections the electorate thus endorsed the candidate and not the original party that had won a couple of years earlier need for a rule look real look the constitutional design of a parliamentary democracy envisages a chain of accountability the accountability of the government to the legislature is on a daily basis and legislative legislatures have to justify their actions to their voters in every election the anti defection law offends this design by breaking both links of the chain legislators have to obey the party dictat even if that comes in the way of holding the government accountable in turn they can easily take refuge in their lack of freedom to make decisions if their constituents question them this is clearly a violation of the central principle of parliamentary democracy which is a part of which is part of the basic structure of the constitution in 1992 a five judge bench of the supreme court ruled that the anti defection law did not violate the <coughs> basic structure a re-examination of this issue would require a larger bench the maharashtra judgment has referred one aspect to a seven judge bench the question is whether a speaker facing a notice of removal can decide on disqualification petitions two five judge benches have reached opposite conclusions on the speaker's ability to make independent and impartial decisions the seven judge bench while hearing that case must expand expand the question to examine whether the anti defection law violates the basic structure it it is time to reclaim the accountability of governments to the people so let me go to the next uh, editorial page which is related to our international issue a disparate israeli leader plays the security card the five day israeli palestinian conflict in gaza ended in a truce on May 13th in this war the israeli had carried out targeted assassinations of six commanders of the radical palestinian group islamic jihad the latter had responded with several hundred rocket attacks which led to 53 really israeli air strikes in which 33 palestinian palestinians were killed and several were injured more injured One Israeli was killed and 45 people injured. There were skirmishes in the West Bank as well. Over the last four months, Israel has been in the grip of demonstrations against the government's government of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that is seeking wide-ranging changes in the country's judicial system. The need to restore Mr. Netanyahu's authority and credibility is linked with the escalation of confrontations in the occupied territories. Israeli extremist rights. right stream right in po israeli election last november the fifth since 2019 showed a significant shift in favor of the country's ultra orthodox and ultra nationalist parties mr netanyahu the israeli's longest serving prime minister 
facing criminal charges for fraud, bribery, and breach of trust, I had no choice but to do a food farm coalition that included Israeli extreme right wing parties, the religious Jewish Zionism party, Ap Bechal Lel Smartrich, and the Chaujima Yudit Thamar Ben Gvir, and include their leaders in his cabinet. The extreme right has a clear cut agenda. Besides pursuing top policies towards Palestinians, it, is, it also seeks a reform of the country's judicial system, which is viewed as uh, upholding Palestinian rights and being hostile to the ultra religious community. In January, four bills were introduced in the Knesset to effect the required changes. They had diluted the court's powers of judicial review, gave the executive greater say. In the selection of judges and also started to protect the prime minister from criminal proceedings. However, the government was totally unprepared for this for perversity of the opposition to these changes. The demonstrators have included a business persons, professionals, workers, and even military reservists. In the face of such very hard March 27, Mr. Netanyahu grudgingly announced a timeout in the implementation of the changes saying this was to prevent the nation from being torn apart. The hesitations have revealed the deep split in Israeli society between those seeking to protect the country's liberal order from the increasing influence of the ultra orthodox mm. Thus, thus, this is an intra-Jewish divide. Generally, both sides uphold Jews superiority over the Arabs and Israelis control over the occupied territories and neither wise support for Palestinian aspirations. Netanyahu fights back. Given Mr. Netanyahu cunning and strong survival instincts, observers have been surprised by his failure to anticipate the strength of the opposition to the judicial initiatives through April. It became clear that his reputation had been decisively tarnished. He was widely He was widely seen as a leader who played his uh, placed his personal interest above the country's democratic order. These negative assessments were reflected in polls. Over two thirds of Israelis supported judicial review and opposed changes in selecting judges. More than half of them faulted the administration for governance failures. Public opinion swung in favor of the opposition. Polls showed that as against the 64 seats won five months ago, by the parties in government, they would now win just 50 while the National Unity Alliance led by Benny Gantz would move from 12 seats twelve seats becoming the largest party in the Knesset. It is in this background that Mr. Netanyahu has played the security card already at the end of the March. There had been reports that the Government would try to deliver divert popular attention from judicial changes by highlighting a security threat from the Palestinians at the Iran backed Hezbollah. Soon, out, soon thereafter, on April 5th, Israeli forces attacked the Al Aqsa Mosque, Mosque and arrested the 300 Palestinians, setting the stage for tit for tat violence. Israeli media anticipated a major military operation to bolster the coalition legitimacy. In the eyes of the public, the ground for the next stage of violence was carefully prepared by the Defense Ministry Avo Gallant. He said on April 20 that the era of the limited conflicts was over and that Iran was mobilizing multiple anti israeli fronts that would include Palestinian militants in Gaza and Lebanon. The Hezbollah and other ran back the militants in the region. He also provided details of massive financial transfer from Iran to these militants. A few days later, Israeli Israel media highlighted the defense minister focus on the impending multi front war. It was said that Israeli's enemies had been emboldened by the by widespread anti government agitations over the previous four months and perceptions that the United States was distancing itself from 
Mr. Netanyahu. This is a backdrop to the latest round of Israeli-Palestinian violence. The Associated Press reported on May 11 that after weeks of Mr. Netanyahu plunging popularity, the bombardment of Gaza has united the country. Against a common threat and appear to put the seasoned leader back in control, Mr. Netanyahu has begun to project himself as the country's unifier and savior. The latest polls show a gain of three seats for his party. The next few weeks will a few weeks will show whether Mr. Netanyahu will survive in office on the basis of this blurred lighting, or whether the Israeli people will see through the machinations of the cynical and willy leader and seek his speedy departure from office. This is about the Israeli government. Let's go to the next page. Uh, Kerala, an exemplary story in a palliative case. Three capitals in Andhra Pradesh. Oh, what is possible? <coughs> Government's decision has brought the development of Amravati, Amravati to a halt. Mravati to a halt. Story in palliative care. The indirect impact of pre twenty hand test cricket. Since 2007, there has been a significant reduction in the number of tests ending in draws. Communication between France and Australia cut. SC asks Manipur leaders to show it restraint in her statements. Manipur situation will normalize soon, sort of delegation. Sidramaya is likely choice of high command. NHRC issues notice over exploitation of 13 girls in UP school. Drive against drugs for its encroachment, not against any tribe, Manipur government. Anti drug activists and our policemen destroy poppy plants on a mountain slope in Impol. CBI arrest freelance scribe, ex Navy officer, and espionage charge. SP Induja Chimin of the Induja group passes away at the age of 87 in London. CBI such as multiple places in rap case related to Kiru, Hydro, Rise and Electric Power Project. The probe has been launched on charge that e tender norms were not followed in project. Regional parties must lead fight against BJP in their strong words, SP. At least back Mumtaz stand is a statement signal has sipped from his recent opposition against the Congress. He said the party's victory in Karnataka was the beginning of the Hand of BJP. 27 Latin 6 by 11 accused Rana can be extradited, says US court. Hayudha Meskur Pro Maski project hangs in balance over lack of points and other orders. Japarriya, Vigilani, the Brahe, Babri Masjid, the Dukkha advocate no more. Mirwaj, Murmai, is killing case accused should be brought to justice. US India word wants stability in Pakistan, Hanoi, Gazetti. Take steps to reduce unnecessary ice, ice tea, rectomy central states, states. Massive missive from the health ministry comes after a Supreme Court judgment plagued the violation of women's rights to health. Order was based on a petition that said some hospitals were carrying out the procedure to clamp ease via incidents. Murugan Nagarates India, India's pavilion at Cats. Hypertension to be attacked at primary health centers. Cabinet gives approval for as fertilizer to subsidy of 1.08 lakh crore for corn. Samir Wankede gets protection from arrest for five days. Prince Harry, Meghan in New York, catastrophic Paparji Karchis. Imran seeks independent inquiry. 
into violence on military bases. UN welcomes new deal to export Ukraine again, says Guterres. Adquired as heavy rain causes a havoc in drought struck on northern Italy. Key climate has threshold likely to be reached in five years. Even if this is a two-third chance of global temperatures exceeding the 1.5 degrees of Celsius warming limit. Once World Meteorological Organization 2023-27 said to be hottest five year for five year five year five year period over. Australia cancels Quad meeting in Sydney after U.S. president pulls out. Such as Chinese ship capsizes in. Uh, Cap surges in Indian Ocean with 39 on board. Center more than doubles outlay on PLI for IT hardware to 17,000 crore. Announcements come, announcement comes up on the back of 17% CAGR in electronic manufacturing, says government. Improvements to scheme based on feedback from industry and the earlier version, says Ministry of Communication Electronics and IT Vaishnav. Sujan Group gags hard for 99M megawatt wind energy project. Spice jet software to settle unpaid use not good enough. Idea tweaks surety insurance norms to expand market. India EU explore ways to resolve carbon border tax. We have to keep our heads high, uh, says Mumbai skipper Rohit. Patirana is uh, trickier than Malinga, according to King Suraja. We are making the we are making the same mistake over and over again. One. Vishnu reaches the 50 wicket mark in his IPL career. Rasu leads the charge as capitals punish kings. Trial challenges have everything to play for us and I says only tried. I just wanted to bowl six good balls and back my strengths, says Motion on the final over against Hamai. Enter makes the summit class for the sixth time. The is Brajit best Indian sign show in recurve. Rune stands Djokovic in a Rome quarterfinals. India hands campaign with win over Australia. Jyoti hides her way to a new meet record. Selection trials for selection trials for U23, U under 27 grapplers. A brand new team began with TM. I uh, did it. The Barcelona blueprint for La Liga successes. Zavi, Barca, Prodigals, and who found the silver line? Quantum physics proposes a new way to study biology. The result could revolutionize our understanding of how life works. This is the quantum physics, which is very related, to, which is proposes a new uh, way to study biology. The results could revolutionize our understanding of how life works. U.S. approves of emergency vaccine used to. Save California condos. Let me read this uh, quantum physics page. Oh, it is very study biology. Uh, quantum physics proposes a new way to study biology. Imagine using your cell phone to control the activity of your own cells to treat injuries and disease. It sounds like something from the imagination of an overly optimistic science fiction writer but this may one be may one day be a possibility through the emerging field of quantum biology for the first few decades uh, scientists have made incredible progress in understanding and manipulating biological systems at increasingly small scales from protein powered folding to genetic engineering and health at the extent to which quantum effects influence living systems remain barely understood nature and the quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics are phenomena that occur between atoms and molecules that can't be explained by classical physics. It has been known for more than a century that the rules of classical mechanics like Newton's laws of motion breaks down at atomic scales. Instant tiny objects behave according to a different set of laws known as quantum mechanics. For humans who can only perceive the microscopic world, are what's visible to the naked eye. 
quantum mechanics can seem counterintuitive and somewhat magical. Things you might not expect to happen in the quantum world like electrons tunneling through tiny energy barriers and appearing on the other side unscathed are being in two different places at the same time in a phenomenon called superposition. I am trained as a quantum engineer research in quantum mechanics is usually geared toward technology hours and somewhat unsurprisingly and somewhat surprisingly there is increasing evidence that nature and engineering with billions of years of practice has learned how to use quantum mechanics to function optimally. If this is indeed true, it means that our understanding of biology is radically incomplete. It also means that we could possibly control physiological processes by using the man quantum properties of biological matter. Quantum in biology, researchers can manipulate quantum phenomena to view better technology. In fact, you already live in a quantum powered world from laser pointers to GPS, magnetic resonance, imaging, third and other transistors and your computer, all these technologies rely on quantum effects. In general, quantum effects only manifest at a very small length and mass scales or when temperatures approach absolute zero. This is because quantum objects like atoms and molecules lose their quantumness when they uncontrollably interact with each other and their environment. In other words, a microscopic collection of quantum objects is better described by the laws of classical mechanics. Everything that starts quantum dies classical. For example, an electron can be manipulated to be in two places at the same time, but it will end up in only one place after a short while exactly what could what would be expected classically. It is in a complicated and noisy biological system, it is thus expected that most quantum effects will rapidly disappear. What should out in what the physicist Alvin Schrodinger called the warm wet environment of this cell. To most physicists the fact that the living world operates at elevated temperatures and in Complex complex environments implies that biology can be adequately and fully described by classical physics. No punky barrier crossing, no being in multiple locations simultaneously. Chemists, however, have for a long time begged to defer research on basic chemical reactions at room temperature and ambiguously shows that processes occurring within biomolecules like proteins and genetic materials are the result of quantum effects. Importantly, such a nanoscopic short-lived quantum effects are consistent with driving some microscopic physiological processes that biologists have measured in living cells and organisms. Such says that quantum effects influence biological functions including regulating enzyme activity, sensing in magnetic fields, cell metabolism and electron transport in biomolecules. Studying quantum biology, the tantalizing possibility that subtle quantum effects can tweak biological processes presents both an exciting frontier and a challenge to scientists. Study of quantum mechanical effects in biology requires tools that can measure the short time scales, small length scales, and subtle differences in quantum states that give rise to physiological changes, all integrated within a traditional wet lab environment. In my work, I have built instruments to study and control the quantum properties of small things like electrons. In the same way that electrons have mass and charge, they also have a quantum property called spin. Spin finds how the electrons interact with a magnetic field in the same way that charge defines how electrons interact with an electric field. The quantum matrix experiments I have been building since graduate school and now in my own lab aim to apply tailored magnetic fields to change the spins of particular electrons. Research has demonstrated that many physiological processes are influenced by weak magnetic fields. These processes include stem cell development and uh, maturation, cell proliferation uh, rates, uh, genetic material repair, and countless others. These uh, physiological responses to magnetic fields are consistent with chemical reactions that depend on the speed of particular electrons within molecules. Applying a weak magnetic field to change electron spins can thus effectively control the chemical reactions final products with important physiological consequences. 
currently a lack of understanding of how such processes are work at the nan scale nano scale level present prevents researchers from determining exactly what strength and frequency of magnetic fields cause specific chemical reactions in cells current cell phone wearable and uh, miniaturization technologies are already sufficient to produce tailored weak magnetic fields that change physiology both for good and for bad the missing pre-prefix of puzzle is hence a deterministic code book of how to map quantum consciousness to physiological outcomes in the future fine tuning nature's quantum properties could enable researchers to develop therapeutic devices that are not invasive reportedly controlled and accessible with a mobile phone electromagnetic treatments could potentially be used to prevent and treat diseases such as brain tumors as well as in biomanufacturing such as increasing lab grown meat production a whole new way of doing science quantum biology is one of the most interdisciplinary fields to Oh, ever much. How do you build a community and train scientists to work in this area? Since the pandemic, my lab at the University of California, Los Angeles, and the Uni and the University of Surrey's Quantum Biological Character Training Center have organized a big quantum biology meetings to provide an informal weekly forum for researchers to meet and share their expertise in fields like in fields like. mainstream quantum physics biophysics biophysics medicine chemistry and biology research with potentially transformative implications for biology medicine and the physical sciences will require working within a an equally transformative model of collaboration working in one unified lab would hello scientists from the disciplines that take very different approaches to research to conduct experiments that meet the breadth of quantum biology from the quantum to the molecular the cellular and the organismal the existence of quantum biology as a discipline implies that traditional understanding of life processes is incomplete for the such will lead to new insights into the age old question of, the, of what life is how it can be controlled and how to learn with nature to build the build better quantum technologies the author is an assistant professor of uh, electrical and computer engineering at the quantum biology tech lab of the university of california los angeles so this article is probably published from the conversation yes this is the last page guys and uh, let me go to the next uh, last uh, next page which is in the uh, next text and context uh, to context uh, the cabinet approves budget for pli scheme 2.0 for it software is not important to the latest china canada card couple why are financial regulators transitioning from labor what is labor what is the controversial story surrounding the global benchmark interest rate what happened during that 2000 global financial crisis so and in the face of violence many for women and try to save poor in new port many furi women have played a huge role as agents of change and protest over they are also the ones who bear the burden of picking up the pieces after every act of violence takes lives and leaves their homes destroyed is a kind of uh, violence so not do anything for this so please subscribe to my channel guys i'm going to end this video please uh, like subscribe to my channel like and comment if you guys have any comments leave please leave the comment in the comment box i can help you out to resolve your doubts i hope you guys are doing great and learning great and earning great so see you in the upcoming videos have a great day bye bye take care